Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to show you some important tools which can be used for different materials or when we need some crystal structure of some salts or uh, some other materials for different studies like uh, if we need to study DFT studies or DFT calculations, energy minimization or MD simulations or adsorption studies or some other studies in material studio or Gaussian. So we can obtain such structures from this tool which is uh, from the materials project. It is materials explorer. So sometime we have uh, different uh, files in material studio. Uh, I have shown you before that we have different options like we have templates of different materials in material studio but if we don't have that kind of materials in material studio then what will be our option so like here if we if we have we don't have let, let's suppose we don't have tit titanium aluminium carbide or such kind of uh, metals so we will open this material explorer and then we will go to here we will uh, include element or the formula of that uh, material like here I am going to write here titanium aluminium nitride okay so for this we will search for this okay so here we have uh, different materials let's suppose we have titanium aluminium nitride hexagonal and T4ALN3 which is hexagonal T3 TALN2 and uh, it gives space groups crystal system and uh, energies and uh, sites so from here we can take this material like here I am going to select this one Okay, now this is our material, this one. So from here, this, this is our nitrogen and these are the dimensions of the or coordinates of the nitrogen and then this is titanium. We can zoom it or zoom out. So from here, we have different properties of this crystal structure like thermodynamic stability, electronic structure like here we have diffraction patterns or we have thermodynamic stability values magnetic properties of this material elastic constants so x-ray absorption intensity or lambda max so here we have all these properties of this crystal system or this structure so here is our crystal structure and these are the uh, latest values 2.9a 2.98b and c is 13.62 and uh, these are the alpha beta gamma and here is the volume of this crystal structure so now how we can open it in gas view or uh, uh, let's suppose in material studio then we will we have different options from here show settings so from here export as okay export as so we have different options from here we have go to CIF file or JSON file or postcard file so I am going to export it as CIF file. Now we have this downloaded file. Show in folder. So let's suppose we have this file. So I am going to open it uh, with. Um, we can use Discovery Studio. Or uh, we can use other options. So I am going to 
let's suppose I am going to save it on the desktop and then <coughs> okay now I will open it in gas view so here we have gas view so file file open from desktop and uh, here we will select either all files or we can only this crystallographic information file so this is our crystallographic information file or we can select all files so we have now different files on the desktop so we can select now I am going to take this file okay <clears throat> now this is our structure that we imported and we can use different models for this one so I am by right click we can go to builder and from here we can select so here we have selected all atoms which are here I am going to show you so these are our atoms and these are our different atoms and uh, now we have an option that we can modify delete or invert selection or we can change the view and uh, we can remove hydrogen or we can uh, we can change the display style from here so we are going to remove bonds and uh, we can go to molecules from here we can show ball and stick model and from here ball and stick okay so now we have this uh, structure we are going to unselect so from here deselect all atoms okay now this is from here this is our aluminium so at the right corner it okay this is nitrogen this is nitrogen atom and these are the titanium atoms so in this way we have this crystal structure of this compound and we have these elements uh, like this and we can use this substance for different studies and uh, also some students ask me like if we want to make graphene so for graphene we will go to another tool so we don't have an option of graphene in this uh, material explorer so for this we will go to pubchem so from here we will write a graphene Here we have graphene, so we will go to graphene. Give this file from here, so download coordinates. So we can save this SDF file or JSON or XML file. So from here we can save this file, which is SDF file, and then uh, we can open this file in pubchem uh, sorry in camdraw like here i have uh, open it in camdraw and we can optimize or we can open it in discovery studio or directly we can open it in um, uh, gas view if we have sdf file option or uh, we can also save from here from camdraw we can save file so we want to save this file in format of like here 
Tybal Mall 2 file. Or uh, from here, we have an option. And uh, we can save this file as this is MDL Mall file or uh, this file. Or uh, if we don't have an option, then we can save this uh, in STF or mall file, then open in uh, it uh, in Discovery Studio like here. And then we can remove hydrogen and then we can save this file as so cyber mall to file. Or uh, we can uh, XYZ coordinates, my lease file. Or uh, we have PDB file. So we have different options here. So from here we can save charm simulation file or graphics file. Okay. And then we can open this file in, in Gauze view. So I'm going to show you that how we will open it in Gauze view. From here I, I'm going to open this. So we are going to all files so we have already saved files like cyber mold to or so i'm going to desktop so here we have a graphene file so from here no this is not our proper format i am going to open the another which is uh, mdl uh, okay we are going to open this side mdl mole file now we are all to file no so open Mm. Cyber mold 2. Now, this is our cyber mold 2 file. It will open this file. Now, this is our graphene, but it contains hydrogen atoms. So, we can remove these hydrogen atoms. So, from here, uh, we can select. So we have selected or we can select only hydrogen atoms and uh, now we will go to so we can go to delete uh, these atoms so we will only now we will only select hydrogen atoms from here so so I am going going to builder deselect all atoms okay and now we will select atoms uh, like hydrogen atoms so i'm going to select these hydrogen atoms from atoms selection so from here we will uh, select only hydrogen atoms. okay now hydrogen atoms is our graphene file and now we can uh, study or we can open this file in material studio also and then we can uh, study different calculations like dft studies or adsorption studies i am going to open it in uh, material studio and i am going to show you that uh, how we can so material studio already i have the recent file of graphene's where i was performing my studies so this is our project we can open new project and from desktop so we can make a new project or we can open file like here we have already graphene file so i am going to show you so this is our graphene file 
and uh, from here we have already uh, replaced these atom with the hydrogen atom like we can select these atoms modify and uh, modify element we will go to modify element so modify to carbon when we modify to carbon so all atom will be carbon so here we don't need to uh, delete hydrogen atom but we can modify these atoms to carbon atom so there this, this I, I want to show you that uh, 